Hi guys, it's me, MZ's Cool Videos, and today I'm doing a review of the Monster High Bonita Femme Freaky Fusion doll. I am so happy to open this, and since I've got it, I just wanted to re get uh, open it. So first of all, I'll give you a tour of the packaging. Bonita Femme Hybrids. I really love the Freaky Fusion packaging. It's very detailed and very creative, not just a general box, it's a very creative way to explain it. So first of all it says in here, two monsters in one and doll can stand on its own, so we'll have to wait and see. So if you've seen a preview of this, you would have known it was coming. So here it is, one and all. I'm destroying the packaging. Don't need that. So um, I think Benita Femme is a mix of a um, moth and what was it? Uh, a skeleton and a moth. Yes. So. This is what she looks like. She's got all her wings. She's basically she's got a lot of wings. All wings with uh, unpackaging packaging to undo. So yeah, first of all, I'll probably do all these um, undoes at the back. So first of all, I'll just really show you the um, usuals. She comes with this diary, and it's obviously has the diary writing in it. Obviously here it says about me. But every single diary has about me at the end. So it's probably a bit longer to undo these since you've got the uh, wings and um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. So as a usual um, Monster High doll, it will come with a brush. This time it's yellow. Oh, she's nearly out. She's nearly out. She's nearly out. Except I need to cut her head off. Um, this is all plastic. And then hopefully. She can come free! Oh, one little snip and she's out. Snip. And she's out. And wow. At the moment she is like my favourite. She's got very long hair. Very long hair. So apparently to this, the dog can stand on its own, and I don't know how. <laughs> no, I do not know how. See, I see why the burnt mermaid and the horse, because probably you know the horse got the legs and the mermaid, but I don't see how this dog can stand on its own. That's the thing. Trying to figure out. Oh, 
which is doing it. Okay. Um, after a bit of work, all you have to do is get her like that, put her down carefully, and I think I'll. I mm, suppose. Yeah, she's alright. So, first of all, we will start with her wings at the back. So, as you can see here, they are at the beginning of the wings, and you can see through there. You're probably going to explain it, obviously, you can probably see for yourself. Back here, you can see like a little rib cage. That's because if you look closely behind there, like a little rib cage. In the back of her neck, yes, a rib cage. Um, I really like her hair, it's very nice and very, very long. So, her hair is this very long blonde hair. And get detached from the ear with a black and pink streak coming from the end all the way down and there's the front of the wings now she has these ears what look like a a leaf ear like in a way and then in her hair she has this like a yet um this orangey and pink and red like Two butterfly clip to hold it in. Um, and here's her face. Now, if you're a very, if you're like a um, a person who just likes to play with dolls, but obviously that's most high. I'm sure they can just probably plait her hair because it's very long. Um, so here's her dress. I really, really like her dress. It's very butterfly. It's got butterflies on it. It's like, it's, it's like this pink frilly top and uh, this top neck bit there and the end. And it's like a long sleeve top-ish. Um, with like little butterflies and pink dots on them. And there's yellow, cute, a, a cute neon yellow belt, belt with like a little butterfly. And this pink frilly top of the edge, and this black butterfly slash multicolored, um, like skirt. And then, if you look closer to her hands, they're like a very detailed hand. Basically, how to explain it. And then her legs are just uh, designed as a moth. It's got like, little frills. And her little neon shoes, wavy. Um, so here's a close up one of them, of her. So I can get her to stand again. So thank you all for watching this review of Bonita Fama of the Freaky Fusion. And uh, if you want to see more Monster High dolls um, of the Freaky Fusion, like Clear Lie Freaky Fusion, be sure to subscribe to that button down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and Comment down below which favorite doll of your, uh, which favorite doll of the Freak Fusion collection is your, is your favorite. I think mine has to be this one or the Mermaid. I have to say, um, out of these hybrids, you probably have the um, normal. I'd probably say Jackie Beck when she comes out. Um, so thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Please subscribe. Bye.